Yeah. Oh, I see her now. I'll call you back. Report. What the fuck was that? I don't know what you're talking about. She knew I was coming. Where's Victor? Victor is indisposed. They put Gregory on the phone. Gregory is not in at the moment. Bullshit! Did she give it to you? What do you think? Don't lose it. I'll have Victor call you. Don't bother. Just give him a message for me. What's that? He's going to have to get a new pet. Subtle. New dress code? What are you doing here? I kind of missed you. Haven't seen you in a while. Just thought I'd check in and see how you were. How considerate. Actually, I was going to ask you the same thing. I was just... meeting a friend. Is that so? Yes. You have a sore throat? Very contagious. Sadly, I think I gave it to my friend. How is she? Not so good. She's going to be off her feet for a while. Long night. Her heels were killing her. A mutual friend, perhaps? I wouldn't know. Well, then I don't think you'd be interested in what she had. What did she have? Not what you think. Not what she thought, even. You have to be patient. Soon all will be revealed. Patient? Patience is the magical effect which makes all obstacles disappear. Tell the story. John Quincy Adams. Have a good night, Agent Terrace. Even though the sample contained plenty of carbon, C12, researchers were unable to date it using the carbon dating method. Can anyone tell me why? Come on. Surely we have some physics majors in this class. Sarah, perhaps you'd like to answer the question for the class. No? I didn't think so. So if you remember from last week's class, the half-life of C14 is... The half-life of C14 is 5,730 years. That's the time it takes for any given half sample of C14, a radioactive carbon isotope, to decay into C12, stable, non-radioactive carbon. The problem is, almost all of the C14 in this sample had already decayed into C12. There wasn't enough C14 left to determine its age using this method. Very good. So, in order to determine the age of this fossil, the researcher... Sarah. Sarah. Hey. Hey, Lucas. Uh, that was pretty cool back there. Oh, yeah, well... So, listen, there's a new place that's opening up off campus on Friday that's supposed to be pretty cool. Uh, one of my friends works there. Would you uh, want to go with me? To there? That's, that's really sweet. I... I would love to. I just... I... I can't. I have way too many things going on, you know? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. Is, yeah. that, is that okay? Absolutely, no problem. <laughs> well, uh, I'll uh, see you later. Okay. Uh, Lucas! There. Yeah? <laughs> on second thought, I would love to. Really? Yeah. Okay. Agree about seven? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, well, yeah, then I'll see you around. Or, I'll see you in class. Bye, Lucas. Okay.
скажет для нее. Тогда найди ее! I don't care who she is. There are rules. Even for her! Я ошарашен, что ты нашла смелость и явилась одна. Кто тебе сказал, что я одна? Ты притащил своего американца, чтобы навредить еще больше. И что? Разбила твое сердце, Виктор? Ты разозлила меня. Она была лучшей из лучших. Тогда почему я здесь и не она? Ты испытываешь мое терпение. Я испытываю. Ты приказал ей убить меня! Ничего подобного я не делал. Ты врешь! Do you know what excessive force is? Let me show you! Don't forget. I own you. <laughs> 